Mm. I'm not having another staring competition with you. I'll beat you fair and square. You didn't I accept that. I just want to sit down for a second. They're pretty. Take the weight off my feet. Give me one more game, I beg you. I go on, Jack. Please, please, just one more game. But let me do a few blinks first, will you, please? I won't throw a game, even though you are my wife. And no cheating either. Okay, but you're allowed to blink once. Just go away. Hi, yeah. mind if I sit down here a minute? I was kind of hoping to eavesdrop. Yeah, you really shouldn't, but okay. I'll get you a mixed platter. Sit down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Okay, then. So he beat you in another staring match. So what do you want me to do about it? Jump off a bridge and fall over? I don't think that way, Finbar. I will damage you unless you blow him away. You just get the guy dead, like I just said there. He's beaten me six times in a row. Six times? Or seven, maybe. Now listen to me good. I want you to take him out, understand? Yes or no? What? I can't just... He doesn't blink, he's excellent at it. Yeah, so? I'm your local politician, Joan. I'm not a gangster. I can't just, you know... I want you to rip out his esophagus. Fine. I hope that you've enjoyed sniffing my arm. Goodbye. No, wait, 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 sit down. Let me smell your wrist. Stop that. Wait, I'll set his house on fire with matches or something. I'll do it, I'll do it. Just let me... I want you to take a sword up his hole. Now, proper order. Oh, I swear. I mean, you put a bomb in his shoes or something, and the rest is eternal happiness for both of us, and we live in America or somewhere nice. You're right. Uh, I love you. It has to be done. I'm happy to hear that. And now you have to prove it to me. If you won't do this, who will? You're my TD. It's your duty, as my representative. To set his head alight. Or uh, time to something very fast. Think about it. Hmm. Okay then, but uh, uh, but I usually do my thinking over in this corner. Oh Jesus, there's an idiot. He's listening at the door. Is that you, Garda Cowley? Detective Cowley. I'm in a meeting. What is it? I think there's going to be a murder. Or a fire somewhere in Ireland. Hmm. Write this down. Hang on, I'll just grab a pen. So as you can quote me on this. Ready? Uh, okay. I, Detective Cowley, am telling you there'll be no fire or whatever you said before that. Uh, hang on. I, de Detective... Help! 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 Call the Stras, boy! Call the Stras! Call the Stras, man! I think it's 99 something. There's a Jesus fire outside, boy. Jesus! What sort of fire, Dad? Oh, hot wood! Orange! Call the Stras! Hold on! Bucket two coming. I just say, have a bucket. Your gas on fire. On the outside, anyway. I know that. That's the truth for once in your life. I'm so upset on your behalf. Maybe I could get a jug of water and help the Stras man or something. Oh! But I'm not really in the right gear. Will you grab me a tracksuit top or something? Okay, if you, if you really are here to help. And not one with the stripes that go on from side to side. They make me look fat. And not one of your Daddy O'Neill's ones. And not the one I bought you. Interesting. Yeah. 
Why have you really come here? Excuse me? Are you completely bonkers? What do you think I'm here for? A staring match? Maybe it'd be better if you told me. The last game wasn't fair. I'm telling you, I got a fly or a major something in this eye and you know it. Maybe I take these things too seriously. Except for the fly, I, I didn't blink. When I left the house, I was in hysterics like a... Baba! Are you trying to kill me? Simple question. Are you Soupy Dave, the shopkeeper, alcoholic and renowned hitman? Are you? Is that you? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Depends who wants to know, like. Know who they want out of the picture. How much money they got. Tell me who's the target. I have a seal on. Can we talk somewhere else? Oh, God, the Cowley. I worry about you. It's Detective Cowley. I know I'm a lady, but I just think you're fabulous. And I have concerns that, God forbid, that one of these days you won't come home. Sylvia, mow the lawn when I'm out. Obviously, it's the bit that looks green. I'll clear the streets of lowly scumbags. I know. I know you're fabulous. It, it's why they pay you 27000 annually. Ooh. Right, so. How are you going to kill my husband? Go into detail. Yeah, that pull out his lungs. No, you must kill him with cats. Big ones that are murderers. Like panthers. Huh? Cats? Can't be cats. Make it so. Panthers skilled for just about anything. Do you have access to a panther? Jeez, no. Whoa, amazing sex. Now let's do it again. Hmm? I'm not good. And how do you think I'm feeling, you worthless bum? It's not my problem. Oh, Ginny, come on, you. Or I'll take you over my knee and give you a slap. Oi. Yeah. You give me pies. What man phoned, Daddy? Oh, some hitman, all right, I think. Here. Anyone tries to mess with us, I tell you, they'll have that dog to deal with first. He'll do his thing. <laughs> That's odd. Well, you are. Ah, Soupy, it is yourself. I've got a gun! Oh, oh watch, there's a loose board there, Soupy. Well, I'll give you a hand there. No! Say your prayers, you coaches! Prayers? Fuck off a sec, Dad, will you? Listen, but a uh, flippin' ball, you are dead, and that's final! But we're not dead, Soapy, we're fine. And you remember the Alamo? The Alamo, the film, was it? Was it? Uh, I think it was, uh, with John Wayne, wasn't it? You're a big poof. You'll have a jar, Soapy, will you? Sleeping with the fishes now? <laughs> I've never slept with fish. I'll take you, you bugger, for oh, you! I told you the board was loose, Soapy. Yep. Yep. Now, Soapy, you were saying. <sighs> Hands off me, you poof! Hmm? I'll break it round the back, I will. <gasps> Bring you with a freaking flying pad! <gasps> now, we both know you won't be doing that. I might. The windows. Oh, no. I'll be back. Will you be back, do you think, huh? No, he's watching too many movies, Daddy. Something about breaking in with a frying pan. Do you think he would? I mean, do you really think he would, do you? I mean, do you? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Uh, I should close the kitchen window. I'll go to that now. You'll sit uh, there and relax a second. Soupy Norman. I love those breasts. I think I might get a pair. 